You're watching another Nerd Stalker event update. I want to ask our panel now some questions about your strategy and advice for entrepreneurs out there so they can kind of get a feel for what you invest in, how you invest, what's really critical. So the first question I have is, I get a lot of entrepreneurs who have a brilliant idea, or an idea that they believe is brilliant, and then they'll spend, should they sit down, build out the product first, or should they go out and not build the product and actually talk to customers, test the market? What, what's your advice? starting to tinker with it. So, I mean, I, I think it's a waste of effort to tell them not, you know, to do that. You know, you get an idea at the beginning of dinner and you're up till 4 a.m., you know, mocking something up. So you're going to do that no matter what. But uh, as early as possible to find, you know, very narrowly, you know, you don't want to announce to the whole world, but find a customer who wakes up in the middle of the night crying because he hasn't solved the problem that you're trying to solve. And if you can find that person and make sure that you're aligned, and a lot of these, these pivots come up. Uh, you know, you, 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 t you, have, you have some problem that you think is a big issue, and then you go and you talk to the customer, and you find out the customer has some even bigger issue that's sort of under the tip of the iceberg, and that you get that pivot as soon as possible. It's a big deal. And uh, there's something I look at called the hustle ratio or the hustle factor, which is the amount of progress you've made divided by how much capital has gone into the company. So if I meet somebody who's made a ton of progress without raising any money, that tells me on small amounts of money, they're probably gonna make a lot of progress. If somebody's burned through millions of dollars and they still haven't figured out what the product is, it makes it a lot more difficult to really, really get involved. So I, I don't really think that capital tends to be the barrier early on. It's really advertising guys here. You need at least hundred thousand dollars in advertising, typically. I mean, minimum for any product. Um, but what I, I typically recommend to people uh, is don't spend years doing development. Uh, you know, hundreds of thousands, of millions of dollars to realize that you then have to pivot four times because your marketing guy tells you that's what you need to do to actually sell it. Um, the best thing to do typically is to build some sort of a prototype, and there's multiple tools out there for that, uh, and then uh, uh, go and uh, test a marketplace, uh, see if you can get a, you know, even some uh, a small waiting list of customers that uh, you know are ready to sign up as soon as you are ready, and then you know then you've shown uh, not only that you have a prototype, mockups, uh, and demand for the uh, demand for the actual product. I think what you don't have to do, you have uh, one needs to think about that. Because having the exact definition of what your business model is up front, that's going to bob and weave. And if you go to funding sources who can provide value, they'll help you figure it out over time. But if you can drive your product or service to a point where customers can engage and give you feedback, it, that, that will take you a long way. And then trying to figure out some of the nuances of the business model it, it's good to get an idea because it may impact your service or product, but you don't have to have great definition at a real early stage. Yeah. You think you're going to get somewhere with $100,000, you probably need $500,000? <laughs> That's a I mean, great I think answer. people yeah. always, I mean, there's a balance between having enough to sell to get people's interest and overselling what you can't deliver on. And that's, it seems like that's a huge mistake that most startups make. That, you know, they they oversell and under deliver. Yep. And then it's catch up time. So how do you realistically estimate what that money's gonna do? Um, I think you talk to people and you get as much information as you can. Before you Forget is just how noisy a world is. <laughs> You know, we, we get excited as entrepreneurs about an idea and we, and we focus and, you know, what, what we don't realize is that there's a lot of garages with lots of really talented entrepreneurs all around the world working on things, which is great, I think, for society and for, you know, for the world. But, you know, for any given startup, it's really noisy. 
And um, so, you know, what I look for more than anything else is really passionate customers or, or, or users. Um, even if the product is just a prototype and imperfect or, you know, just a, you know, just really, really rough. Are there, is there some group or some individual or some customer that's just really passionate and excited about it? Um, and then, you know, that's, that's the most important thing for me. So um, I like to tell the story about this guy. He happened to be French, you know, I'm sorry about that. But, you know, he came over, had a job, and then decided to do a startup. He had no business doing a startup, but he had what was on paper a great idea. He raised about 1.2 million, most of it before he had even written a line of code. He was actually not a coder, he had hired someone. And how he did do it, he hustled. He, uh, he managed over five or six months to set up 140 meetings with um, uh, what I would call non-sophisticated angel investors, you know, accredited angel investors, but not people like Larry or me or anyone who see lots of deals. These are you know, small businessmen, whatever. And he told them a great story and he closed you know, 30 to 40% of his meetings. So if he did it without a network, because he was not from here, um, I think it's possible to raise $100,000, you know, stuff. So it's not such a big deal. It's, if you hustle, it's, you know, it's, it's something that can be very doable.